So we're in a uh, zone right now. We're in the middle portion of it. You can see all the pyrotization here. Loads and loads of iron pyrite. So this zone continues for about a kilometer. It's exposed in three road cuts. One way up there, about 100 meters, the one we're on here. And then another eight, 900 meters down that way and there's some various showings in between as well smaller ones but those are the three main areas so this stuff here on average throughout the whole area runs about one percent copper and as you go farther down you get more of a transition to about two percent copper So this is a schistose rock, chlorite schist, and we're right under an electromagnetic anomaly which runs the whole course of this pyrotized zone. At the very top, on the upper road, you have high grade zinc. VMS deposit making its way through. Now below the road you have more exposed here. In various float boulders and bedrock like this. Here's another nice one here. You have calcopyrite in this too. Exposed. Down in there. Nice chunks of pyrite in there. It's really hard to tell the the difference between the calco pyrite and the pyrite, but that's calco right there. All right, so we broke that in half. Hammering away here. Lots of samples. You got calcopyrite in here, right there, right there. It's really difficult to see in these because there's so much metal and the calcopyrite doesn't have that different of a color. Because it's only about two to three percent. You can see right there. This is calcopyrite. So it's basically throughout these boulders all along here, all up there, all up there, and way down 800 meters. There's a couple small mines in between here struck on similar stuff a couple showings like this we think this actually dives down under the overburden so i hope you guys enjoyed the little video we're out of here take care